All right, everyone. Um, this is a tutorial for what we did last week uh, in class. So today I'm going to focus on how to work on the Tinkercad. And um, I thought uh, making a video um, will be easier for you to learn and to follow step by step if you want to watch over um, again and again uh, in case you don't understand. So the object today is to create uh, something like a box, uh, like the one that I created in class last week. So when you log into your Tinkercad, uh, you will see this screen here. And uh, under 3D Design, you will create a new design. Okay, so once you click on the Create New Design to, uh, button, this work plane um, shows up. So just a few things to start with. Uh, first of all, there's on this right hand side all the shapes and the holes that you are uh, that are available to you. And there's a ruler. Now this ruler sometimes can be quite important. So we're going to place a ruler. Now uh, we talked about placing ruler um, at a whole uh, centimeter uh, corner and it will make it easier. Now, um, <clears throat> now of course you can you can always move this around if you want. Okay, so with this in place um, we can start and uh, there's one more thing on the bottom here that it says uh, snap grid and under this draw button here you have various choices we're going to stick to 1.0 millimeter which means that when you move an object it's going to move uh, one millimeter at a time okay so we're going to start with a box and uh, so the difference between these two box is that one is a solid, one is a hole. So uh, using the solid will create something that is going to be printed once you uh, use it on the 3D printer. Okay. So here I have a rect, uh, I have a cube, and uh, and you can see that I have aligned it to my origin, which makes things a little easier when you move things around. So first of all, I'm going to change the dimensions and uh, I'm going to change the height to 10 millimeter and change the length to 30 millimeter and change the width. I'm going to keep the width at 20 millimeter. OK. So my goal is to create a box and the box is going to have a thickness of let's say two millimeter okay so which means that we're going to have to cut out uh, the middle okay and uh, if you think about two millimeter uh, on each side here so we're going to create a hole and we're going to have to first figure out the length uh, the, the dimensions of the hole so with a two millimeter bottom, and uh, we're going to set this hole to eight millimeter high, um, and uh, the uh, the box is going to be uh, two millimeter from left, uh, two millimeter thick on the left side and on the right side. So taking away two millimeter on each side uh, leaves you with uh, <coughs> twenty six millimeter and uh, and this one is at 20 uh, millimeter so if we want two millimeter on each side we're going to do this at 14 millimeter okay so then uh, we want the the hole we want to see the hole, so we want to have the bottom uh, showing as the bottom. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up by 2 millimeter. Okay? So this uh <coughs> this little cone shape button here uh, allows you to move the shape up and down. And so you can see that here's a an arrow that shows it's 2 millimeter from the um, from the from the bottom. So now I can move this hole right in. Oh, somehow I did this. I typed in 14. I meant 16 uh, because we want 2 millimeter on each side. And uh, so when we zoom out a little bit, uh, <clears throat> you can see that it's showing that this shape here is two millimeter from there, and but it's only one millimeter here. So you can use the left and right button. So I'm pressing the right button here, and so it moved the hole one millimeter to the right. Okay. So now this hole is essentially centered into that uh, cube there. I'm going to select. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to select both shapes here. And you can see that when you selected both shapes, there it shows you that you have selected two shapes up here. Okay? And so now I'm going to use this button here to group these two shapes together. Once I group this two shape together, you can see that essentially uh, the whole is um, is basically integrated with the shape. And so now you have created a box. And so this is how we're going to create a box. Okay, and by the way, you can change the name of what you create up here in this uh, left corner here. Uh, so that is how you can create uh, a box. And uh, I would suggest that you give it a try uh, in your Tinkercad um, and get yourself familiar with the basic idea of the solid shape and the hole. Okay, so that's it for this uh, first tutorial.